What's up guys, it's Brian here. Today I am bringing you guys a review of the brand new 2023 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Bit of a mouthful. The set number is 75359, contains 108 pieces, retails for $20 like battle packs do. So that's a whopping 20 cents per piece if you are a price to part ratio guy in the year 2023 because, you know, inflation is just insane. But 20 bucks, that's the battle pack price these days. And it's not a bad price when you consider how much clone figures are going for on the secondary market. But we'll talk more about price and value later on. Let's get into the actual set itself. Now this is the most classic army builder style clone battle pack that we've gotten in quite a long time with three identical figures and then one named character, but it's pretty easy to make him into uh, just another 332nd clone trooper. But with the with normal battle packs, what you see here is what you get. You get the swamp speeder, you get a little side cannon, and you get four uh, clone trooper minifigures. Let's take a look at the swamp speeder first. And this little side cannon is just a stud shooter. There's really nothing to this, like, extra room in the parts budget. That's really all that was. But here's the Swamp Speeder, and it's small. It is smaller than I anticipated. I don't like it as much as I thought I would, which kind of makes me sad. It is very, very thin. It should be a lot wider, uh, like the actual in-universe design. If we bring in the Swamp Speeder from the 2014 Kashyyyk Trooper Battle Pack, it's much smaller. Like, you can even see on the bottom here, you can definitely see how their profiles are much different. Much different, very different. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. But as you can see right here, they are very different. You can definitely see a difference in the two sizes. Now, it is slightly more accurate that these panels are a little bit shorter. I actually learned that from my friend Melnick. He told me that <laughs> they actually should be shorter than the width of the speeder itself. It, just, it looks weird to me because I'm just so used to seeing this 2014 version. But the whole vehicle itself should be wider. And, you know, we can debate the existence of a blue Swamp Speeder, a 501st Swamp Speeder, all we want. But on BrickLink, if you source out all of these blue parts and swap them for dark red, it amounts to about a dollar. So you can make that wish list on BrickLink and uh, buy all the pieces you need to make this any color you want for like a buck or less. So it's really not that big of a deal that it's blue. Plus, it's just kind of interesting. You know, I like interesting Star Wars designs. And so a blue Swamp Speeder, not the worst thing in the world. And obviously you can fit minifigures in here as well that just kind of folds up no control panels or anything it makes it so that it's a little bit further out and then these clips in the back store their blasters i'll just put vaughn in there too so that we can see what two figures look like if i don't drop them all over the place and there we go two figures in the swamp speeder it's pretty cozy but it's cute and it's a good little parts thing too there's, there's some good pieces in uh, included in this i like all these little dual clip pieces there's one down here it's a one by one with two clips and a one by two with two clips a couple one by five plates so it's a good little uh, parts pack if nothing else but we come for battle packs for the figures mostly so let's take a look at these figures now let's take a look at our named character first and that is captain vaughn i already made a full video about Captain Vaughn because I was able to get him about a month and a half early, so there'll be a link in the top right corner right here to my full video about Vaughn, giving all of my thoughts about the helmet holes and the clone details and, you know, kind of the clone community in general. So I won't talk about, you know, <laughs> Lego Star Wars politics here. I'll just look at this figure, and I like this figure a lot. Of course, I've had this figure for about a month and a half, but I like this guy a lot. His only differences are the little co commander or captain rank up there and his Cody style backpack, as well as the uh, visor up there, which is a classic Lego style visor, which I happen to like a lot. No unique head printing for Vaughn, but it's okay. He gets exactly two minutes of screen time, so he doesn't need to be uh, the most like accurate looking clone trooper in the world. He's just the captain of the 332nd, and I like him a lot. And if you take off the visor, and you don't care too much about uniformity, you still got a plain 332nd clone. And hey, if you bring in a uh, 501st Trooper from the most recent battle pack and just swap the helmets, you got another reg. And I'm sure you'll have a lot of these guys if you're getting uh, the 332nd battle pack. So it's very easy to swap out that helmet and just turn him into a regular uh, 332nd clone trooper. But that's Captain Vaughn. And I like this figure quite a bit. And I'm glad he's included in this set. Very simple. Very classic Lego, no problems here whatsoever. And now for the figure that you get three of in this set, a plain 332nd clone trooper. Two of them come with a jetpack, 
So you have two uh, 332nd jet troopers and one 332nd trooper without the jetpack. But for all intents and purposes, these figures are pretty much identical. You can remove their jetpacks and just have them be 332nd regs. And again, it's pretty much exactly the same as Vaughn, but no captain printing and the back printing is uh, just a normal clone trooper. The torso and legs are the exact same as the 501st uh, minifigure from the battle pack from a couple years ago. And yep, exactly the same, just as it should be, and no complaints there with the design. They have the helmet holes for the, uh, so you can make your own customs and accessories, which I appreciate, and I really don't mind the look of them whatsoever. I think they're just fine for what they are. But I'm just so happy to get three grunts of a clone trooper in a battle pack and a clone that you can easily turn into a grunt with uh, Vaughn. Very, very easy to build a 332nd army with this battle pack. And that's exactly what battle packs should be. The instruction manual has that horrible rendering with the huge unibrow on these 332nd clones, so I'm not even going to keep that instruction manual. And then here are the extra pieces. You get a whole set of visors and antennae, and the extra parts are just that. You get a, a, one of these uh, dark gray uh, Technic pins that has more friction. I don't have many of these, so I'm actually happy to get uh, another one of those. So the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack is a set that has a lot of controversy surrounding it for various reasons that don't really make any sense to me. People can't get over the helmet holes and, you know, whatever, they'll get over it eventually. Or, or Captain Vaughn being slightly inaccurate for a character with two minutes of screen time and about four lines total. And, you know, the fact that there's a blue Swamp Speeder when there's no Swamp Speeders on Mandalore. I think we're kind of losing sight here of what we actually have in front of us, and that is a a 332nd battle pack. We've been wanting one of these for, uh, when did, when did the last season come out? Three years ago, in 2020. So we've been wanting this for three years, and we can finally get a decent size army of 332nd clones when the only way to get a 332nd clone before was in a $40 set that's now retired, and that figure alone goes for a lot of money. This makes those clone troopers accessible, and I, you know, don't care about the helmet holes, but if you don't like them, you don't have to buy them. And that's the whole thing with this set in general. If you don't like it, you don't have to purchase it. I want every LEGO Star Wars fan to really remember that. However, I like this set. Does it have its flaws? Absolutely. I think this little cannon here is pretty useless. I think the Swamp Speeder could have been a lot better. I think 108 pieces for 20 bucks definitely could be better. But you know, $20 is the value of, or the, the value, the price of battle packs these days. And if you consider what the clones go for, go for on the secondary market, you want to chunk out this price. If you want to say that each of these clones is worth, let's say, $4, and the build itself is worth $4, like a poly bag, then there you have it. You have 20 bucks right there. And when I chunk out that value like that, I do think I got my money's worth because it's hard to find clones for $4. It's even hard to find five clones for $20, uh, four clones for $20. Like say, say that each of these clones is five bucks. That's not that easy to come by these days in this brick economy. It's not that easy to find a clone trooper for uh, $5 or less. And that is what this battle pack offers. Four very good clone troopers and a decent parts pack that you can easily color swap on BrickLink for 20 bucks. And at the end of the day, this is a classic style battle pack. It's very nostalgic. I'm very glad I'm gonna be able to get a bunch of these and build up a decent army of 332nd clones. Now, I didn't care for snow troopers too much, but like that was a good army builder too. And the 501st specialist battle pack is a set that you don't really need that many of because they're specialist troopers, but these are grunts in a classic style battle pack. Price aside, this is a classic style battle pack. And I'm very happy to see this on the shelves alongside the other two battle packs that are uh, still kicking. So that's gonna just about do it for this review. I definitely recommend you get one or two of these at release. It'll go down to 16 or $17 on Amazon in a couple of months. So if you wanna wait for it to go down before you buy multiples uh, like me, then um, that, that, that'll that definitely be worth your wait. I already have two of these, but that's all I'll buy for 20 bucks for now. But that is going to, again, just about do it for this set. Be respectful to each other in the comments. There's no need to go crazy over LEGO Clone Troopers. We all love LEGO Clone Troopers. I love LEGO Clone Troopers, and I'm just happy to have a very desirable Legion in a battle pack. 
And that is going to just about do it. How many times have I said that at the end of this video? Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.